Y'all saw me modeling. Oh, wait a minute. Did, did I just hear a hoo A hoo You already know what that sound means. Let's bring out my happy meal. How fancy is that? Let's see what I got today. And it didn't knock me upside the head. I got it. I got it. I got it. OK. I've asked all of you to share your good news with me so I could share it with the world. And today's Happy Meal is extra special because it's an update. Last week, a first grade teacher named Sonia White was here on the show. When one of Sonia's students said they wanted to fly on a plane, she took them on a make-believe trip to Mexico. So, yes, wasn't that beautiful? So Southwest loved Sonia's story, so they gave the students a field trip to their headquarters in Dallas, Texas. Mm -hmm. And so Sonia wrote in to tell us all about how it went. I'm excited because that trip was adorable, her whole concept. Okay, so she said, Dear Jennifer, thanks so much to you and Southwest Airlines for my unforgettable visit to your show. Aww. It's so adorable. Our trip to Southwest headquarters, they let us go on a real plane and threw us a party in honor of our pretend trip to Mexico. The kids even got souvenir goodie bags. They had the best time. They also surprised all of our first grade teachers with real trips to anywhere Southwest flies, including Mexico. We are all, all blown away and we can't wait for our trip. Thanks again, Jennifer. Love you. Oh, thank you, Sonia. You are so welcome. Have fun in Mexico. You deserve it so much. All right. That was lovely. Chai, it's busy around here today. I think it's time for Knockstar. I know what that tell me. Everybody stopping by. Chasers, OK? On the roll at the happy place. Okay, I love surprising my viewers in their hometowns, and I am extra excited today because we're going to my hometown of Chicago. Yes, we are. And our correspondent, my friend Jake Hamilton from Fox 32 Chicago. Jake, Jake in the house. Uh, 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 uh. I already know where you at. I already know where you at. Welcome home. Chicago misses you. I miss you. Chicago loves you. I love you. Where love you been? You. you never called. I love you. That looked like that looked like the wheel at, at Navy Pier. Let me, you at Navy Pier, right? We're at Navy Pier. It is a crisp, beautiful day. If you've never been out to Chicago, it is one of the most pristine, popular spots in the Midwest. You got to come out here. I just hang out all day hoping that someone will talk to me. Oh, you make me miss it even more. Now, you know the last time I saw you, Jake, we was at my good spot, Fudge Pot. You know they got, y'all, they got all we my favorite chocolates. We had such a great time. Didn't we? I got to tell you, Jennifer, really quick, I have more people every day who talk to me about that segment and say, when's Jennifer coming home? When's Jennifer coming back? I'm going to walk around with a sign around my neck like yeah. Flavor Flav that says, I don't know when Jennifer's coming <laughs> back. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you how you could get me back. Because if you go, you should go up in Fudge Pie because I know you're not too far from it because I know my city. And I want you to go give me some of my favorite chocolates. Now, what they normally do is put it in the little yellow box for me. So you make sure you give me some of the uh, bark chocolate with the almonds. Y'all want something? Okay. <laughs> bring us all some snacks. And if you, could, if you could bring it to me or maybe I could get there. But if you pull that up, baby, I will be there with bells on, okay? Got you. Can Done. You handle easy. Easy. Okay, I got another question, Jake. Always. Because it's, you know, it should be chilly there by now. How is the weather in Chicago? Does it feel like I the holiday tell you, season? It's not bad. And you've experienced some cold days in Chicago. It's crisp. It's clear. It feels good. I don't know who on your producing team you got sort of working on the people upstairs, but you got a clear day for the Jennifer Hudson show in Chicago. Okay. Chicago showing out. Okay, well, you know what? Let's show them who we're surprising today. I want to get into that. 
I am so excited about this. We're going to be surprising Cynthia. She is an incredible person. She is a mom. She is a cancer survivor. She is working in the community tirelessly to make Chicago a better city. She is a Jennifer Hudson fan. But here's my favorite part. She's kind of been on standby hiding uh, at a different part of Navy Pier. And I'm pretty sure for a period of that time, she's been at the bar. So I don't know how this next segment's going to go, but I just know it's going to be really interesting. Well, it sounds like she deserved whatever she want to do at that bar. And she sounds like a true Chicagoan. She sounds incredible. So let, let's, let's, let's sneak up on her and, and surprise her. I'm excited. We're going to hide right? and we're going to be ready to go. But I, any, anyone's going to be excited to talk to you. I know I am all the time. Okay, you get her ready. But we'll be back around to see. All right, let's go. All right. We're going to surprise Cynthia a little bit later. Our first guest is a very talented singer, Emmy award-winning host, and amazing mother. I'm so happy she's joining us again. Please welcome Adrian Balone Houghton. Come on out! This is always the most stunning set. I'm so here for it. Thank you. Always stunning. I don't take it lightly coming from <laughs> you. You look amazing. Thank you. So do you. Thank you. I had goals for turning 40, and I was focused. Yeah, you just and turned 40, huh? I did. You wear it well. Even saying that out loud is so crazy because I actually started on this exact same stage oh uh, when we started The Real. This was our, our, like, our summer before really? we actually got the show, and I was 29 years old. Oh, my goodness. And so to now be 40, I'm like, where has the time gone? It goes so quick. So fast. But you must have been having fun. I am having a blast, and I'm a whole grown woman at 40, and I'm feeling it. I love you, how positive yeah. about it you are. Yeah. I had girlfriends that were like, we're turning 40 this year, and they were, like, stressed out about it and so sad, and I was like... It is such an honor and it a is. privilege to get older. It, like, I don't think people view it that way. What a blessing to say, I'm getting older. I get to see 40. So yes. I'm excited about it. And they say, it's a very sexy time for us ladies. Is so. it, do you find it being sexy? I do. I, I do too. I feel like it's, it's, giving, it's giving grown and sexy. Yes. And it gives like, honey, I'm only doing this. Because, you know, <laughs> yes. it, it's a new attitude. They say it keeps happening every decade at 50. Then at 60, by 70, you don't care what nobody thinks about you. Mm. You're talking crazy. And I am looking forward to it. Ah, that's what I'm looking yes, forward to. Yes, to just... No cares in the world. You are better advertised, 40, honey. I am <laughs> loving it. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Okay, so everybody been hanging out in Vegas lately. You was just there I this was. past weekend? Yes, for BravoCon. For BravoCon. BravoCon. Wow. Did you have a good time? So here's the thing. I had an amazing time. I got to host this panel with the Housewives. Uh -huh. Any of you guys big Bravo fans, like Housewife fans? I am so happy to hear that because I don't be knowing who anybody is. <laughs> I never know who any other people, like, I literally have to get prepped right before I go out there. They're like, okay, this is what she's, yes. she's on Potomac, she's on OC, she's on, I don't know who anybody is. It's I the worst. You. Oh my goodness. So that's me looking at somebody not knowing who the heck that is. See? Those not a clue. That not a ting, not a ta, no clue. That expression is very telling. Mm -hmm. Like, hmm, what's going on here? Yes. So you recently shared the news that you're stepping down from the E! News. Yes. It, well, how did you come I, to that decision? I had an amazing time at E! News just being a host. I think just being a part of the legacy of E! News was such an important thing for me. And then I realized I was doing the most as a mom. We were being bi-coastal. I feel like the last time I was here, I told you we were flying back and forth between New York and L.A. And my son is now walking. He's walking. Six-hour flights with a walking baby. Ooh, baby. It's a different kind of situation. <laughs> and... I think that, for me, I wanted this baby boy so badly, and He's I really beautiful. want him to be my full focus, my main job, my, my part-time and my yes. main job. Yes. And yes. he's just so delicious. And he knows when I'm even leaving to work now, and I yeah. try to like be like, I'm gonna sneak so he doesn't cry. Oh, he's so gorgeous. And I'm obsessed with him, and I actually had one of my girls, Tamara, mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. told me, she's like, Adrian, you are not making the wrong decision. You will never regret putting your family first. That is beautiful. And that gave me so much peace. So it's a new season of life. I've never not worked since I was 15 years old. And my mom was like, 
A, I know you're scared, but like God is not gonna punish you for this. Like you're gonna no. be blessed in a different way. And so I get emo talking about it, but I'm so excited. I'm, I've never had like routine in my life and I signed yeah. us up for mommy and me classes that we start in December and I am beyond blessed and just excited. That is a beautiful reason. Yeah, yeah. I, I love that. And, yeah. and the, you know, you're gonna enjoy it and embrace it. And yes. He's so cute. Make all the memories. He's in the dressing room, knocked out right now. Oh. You gotta okay. see him. Well, he we just can't got make his... too much noise if he's sleeping. He got his hair braided the other day. He did. I was obsessed. I cannot handle my son wearing little braids. He dressed up as a boxer for Halloween. It was just oh. the cutest oh. thing I've ever seen. There he is. <laughs> Adrian, he is adorable. Thank you. It was the braids for me. I said, I can't take it. He looks so grown. Oh, my God. You just wait, honey. Enjoy this face. Because before you know it, he's going to be taller than you. I know. And carrying you around. That's what happened to me. Now I'm looking up like, where did my little kid go? He went to sleep, took a nap, came out the room. <laughs> and I'm like, who is this man? A whole grown man. It goes that but fast. I love being a boy mom. Yeah, me too. Right? Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone tells me... That like as he gets older, he's gonna become protective of yes. me, and I and I'm excited for him to be taller than me, which is absolutely gonna happen because everyone's taller than me at 4'11". Uh -huh. um, and I, I'm just so I'm looking forward to so many things. People told me don't say I can't wait yeah. because it goes by so right. fast. Like oh I can't wait till he talks. I can't wait till he. I'm gonna say I'm really looking forward. Enjoy each and every phase. To every phase, yeah. From one mama to another. Mm -hmm. Just like that. That's right. It'll be there now. <laughs> I didn't get to do this. You got to work with Michael Jackson before? Yes, okay. This is absolutely insane. The fact that I say it and I have photo proof really helps me because <laughs> I feel no one will believe me. Um, right after 9-11, Michael Jackson actually wrote a song called What More Can I Give? And 3LW got to sing the backgrounds on the song. So we like went into the studio, got to record it, and then he actually did a United We Stand concert to benefit all the families that were affected by 9-11. And we got, to perform we got to perform with Michael Jackson. Oh my God. I got to do vocal warm ups oh my God. with the king himself. Yes. And Jennifer, I actually took this with me forever. You see me right there in the background. Thank God we have the photo. The level of the talent is insane. Everybody was there. It was like Usher, I think Mariah Carey, like so many uh, people were at this concert. And when we did the vocal warm up with him before the show, we practiced the song. And I remember us doing it over and over again and him being like, that's it, we've done it twice, yeah. that's enough. He's like, this, this is flesh and blood, this is not a machine. And so I always try to remind myself when we overwork ourselves, yes. when we over sing, when we're just doing the most, this is not a machine, baby. This it's is flesh machine. and blood, said Michael Jackson. Flesh and blood. Oh, I'm remembering that. Mm -hmm. Wow, I never got to yeah. meet him. I worked you with didn't, him. didn't? No. Oh, it was. I think that just because he's so iconic, you don't know how that person's gonna act. And he was so right. down to earth, so warm and chill, and literally was like, okay, let's do it one more time. And I was like, this is Michael Jackson. Yeah. The Michael Jackson. The Michael Jackson. Yes. Wild. And it's only one. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. <laughs> We're back with Adrian Balloon Houghton. Joining us is her Grammy Award winning husband, Israel Houghton. Come on out. <laughs> I feel like I want to jump up on this couch you like Tom Cruise. You can jump up on it if you want to. <laughs> That's how much in love I still am. Oh. I'm not going to do it, though. My knees, you know? The you way know. the knees are set up. Yeah, Heard you yeah. all talking about the 40s. I'm in my 50s now, so it doesn't go so easily. Wow. Yeah. But see, you have a beautiful life together, so I'm sure. We do. Y'all, 40s and, and, and 50s feels I like 20s, it. huh? It, it honestly does, and I feel like this year we've been like focused on fitness yeah. and getting healthy and going to the gym together. Mm. There's nothing sexier than seeing your man work out in the gym and you're there with him, I'm, I'm here for it. I feel you. So and am it's I, encouraging. Babe. I'm here for it, too. <laughs> I love y'all energy. OK, so tell me about your decades tour that you got going yes. on. We just announced it this week. So New Breed, the group that I started yes. 23 years ago, is still together. Um, and we, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's up. huge. Two decades in one group together is like, that's kind of unheard of a little yeah. bit. but. Um, 
So we, uh, about 12 years ago, we did a first decade record, which is like the decade record. So this is the decades record. We so added an S decade. there because yeah. it's been multiple <laughs> decades, yep. you know? So we're going to... That's a blessing. Yeah. We're working on a live record for that, and then we're going to go tour it in uh, in April of next year. We're excited about it. We've announced it. You can get tickets now, and yes. people are really pumped tickets. about it. So I'm I'm honored. I am pumped about it. This <laughs> is going to be so good. How you you pumped about, about it? it? I am thrilled. I don't think people understand, like, when I... My life dream mm -hmm. is for us to tour as a family. Like, literally have my son, once he, he's getting his vocals together right now, okay? Oh, oh, is he? He's working them out with them screams. <laughs> no, 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 but he's actually singing, too. Is so he, singing? he can this sing. I gotta tell you, this is fresh. This morning, <laughs> we were bathing him, <laughs> and she started singing, Mama, Mama. Just a song I'm making mama, up. Mama, 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 And he literally, same Sing key, it. same rhythm, sang it right back to us. We're, we're like, we're in the shower. We have like, a singer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. But like that, that to me would be so awesome. Yeah. I love singing with my husband. I get to say that I'm a part of New Breed. And for me, that has just been awesome. I grew up singing in church. And so I grew up singing his songs, mm. crazy enough. So now that we get mm. to sing them. Ouch. To get, <laughs> no. <laughs> that just got weird for me. I'm no. sorry. But like, <laughs> when we first got married, he was on a tour with Fred Hammond at the act. time. And I remember coming off the stage and I'm like, babe, that song, To Worship You, I Live, like, like they sang that song in my church. I love that. I want to download it on Apple. Like, who's the singer? He was like, no. But I didn't know that. <laughs> you know when you hear songs in church, you're like, my choir sings right. the song. My worship leader sings it's the song. It's y'all song. Right? We, I thought it was our church's song. No, it was his song. And so to just be able to sing those songs together as a family now. Yeah, it's beautiful. And tour, we just bought a tour bus. And our son just runs up and down, <laughs> and it's the best. Oh, that's a dream. I it think is that's a dream. That's a dream of mine. We love that it. is awesome. Okay, I know she has some interesting food combinations. Do you eat these interesting food combinations? Um, with her? <laughs> she she's next level with it, and I tend to. I'm very basic. I have a basic. very basic. I have a so very you're basic palate. Boring. Come on now. So you consider it okay? So I I go along with it because I am a good friend. And a, and a good husband, Aww. I believe. So I'm like, yeah, babe, let's try it. But I, I'm also honest, so I'm like, this is freaking terrible, no. so no. Guys, no. my tuna punch went viral. I promise it to you, it was tuna bomb. Punch. He did have it and he enjoyed it. Explain he, what a tuna punch is. I mix all. tuna fish and like Hawaiian punch together. I promise it to you, it's... I promise it, it's so good. It's so good. Don't knock it till you try it, guys. <laughs> You I, tried it, Israel. I knocked it. I tried it. I'm still knocking it, but it was it was pretty good. <laughs> I, you got one. I think we should all try. You willing to try with us? Cause you said you was a good friend and I'm you up and you try stuff. Yeah. Okay, so your fix is salt and vinegar chips. Oh, not this one. Yup, and, yeah, and yes. coconut ice cream. Okay. How do you come up with this stuff? Do you? Okay, I am. Oh wait, answer that question. How do you come up with this stuff? Go. I came up with this in our bedroom. We were waiting Correct. for the other bedroom to get fixed, Correct. and he actually ordered. No, Mariah got his. My stepdaughter got salt and vinegar chips, and then we just had this coconut ice cream in the fridge. And I was actually craving coconut shrimp. But have you ever had coconut oh, no. shrimp with vinegar in it? No. Okay, but it's just like a sweet and salty vibe. Just give it a try. Oh, oh my God. God. I'm telling you, it's gonna be worth it. I say just go I for the dip. I can't reach the tray. Hold this on. water's good. I can Let drink me this get water. Mine. I'm telling you guys, it's what literally. You but you have to think. Y'all ain't sweet and salty. Think. You coconut shrimp. I was get yours. All right. Israel was you trying to delay. Thing. Okay. This is like. Jesus, we just thank you for I know, I was going to bless it. Bow your head. Uh -huh. <laughs> Are we going like for a child? One, one, two, three. You know it's good. It's not bad. It's giving Who's coconut that? shrimp. You know what? That's actually pretty good. I have to be honest. That's good. That's you know good. it's good. It's not bad. <laughs> It's, it's not bad. It's, it's, it's not, not great. Bad, but I don't know if I'm gonna put it together. I will eat this ice cream though, so let me slide this over here. But thank y'all so much <laughs> for being so here. I can't wait to come to this tour. Yes. I wanna meet the baby, the whole family. Yes. Oh my God. And we're gonna eat some real food. For more real information food. on the Decades Tour and their upcoming release, head to Israel and We'll be right back. 
You ain't want my picture. We're back. Earlier in the show, we spoke to my friend Jake Hamilton at Fox 32 Chicago, my hometown. He's at Navy Pier, where we're about to surprise an awesome community leader named Cynthia. Jake, are you there? I am here, and we are so excited. Cynthia is sort of right over there. She has no idea that we're over here, and we are ready for the surprise when you're ready. Oh, we ready, ready, right? Yeah. Okay, Jake, let's just go for it. Here we go. Here we go. She has no idea. It's the Jennifer Hudson Show. That's right. You better sing. Go on, Jake. Cynthia. Jennifer Hudson. Cynthia. Academy Cynthia. Award winner Jennifer Hudson would like to speak with you. Yes. Cynthia. Hi, Cynthia. Cynthia. Hi. My name is Jake. Hi. That's my friend Jennifer Hudson. Welcome to the Jennifer Hudson Show, Cynthia. Thank you. How you doing? I heard you was hanging out at the bar. Yeah, I was eating some fries right now. Ooh. You in the best okay. place to do that. Now, Cynthia, I heard you're a something special. You're a dedicated you're in, in to the people of Chicago with your life and your community service. Like, where do you find your passion for your work? And tell me, what do you love most about our hometown city of Chicago? Yeah, well, I am a uh, cancer survivor and a young mom. And so for me, uh, every day is an opportunity to just like make the most. And yes. so for me, it's giving back to people. Really thankful for the, all the opportunities that I've had and e all the obstacles I've overcome. And I realize that it doesn't come without help. And so I figured if I could become that for someone else, then why not do it? You are. I love your positive outtake. That was spoken like a true Chicagoan. OK, Jake, tell Cynthia why we're here. I have to try to top that? Are you kidding me? She's incredible. She's a legend. I can't she top is that. A legend. So here's the deal. We've got a couple of questions that Jennifer's going to throw your way. You're going to be totally fine. It's nothing that you're not prepared for. You're going to be ready to go. Just a little bit of algebra, algebra some geometry. You're going to be totally fine. But we got some great trivia that's oh, going to be coming your way. You're going to have some fun. You ready? Yeah. All right, Jennifer, we're ready to go. All you need to do is listen closely, Cynthia. But I already, I feel like you can handle this. And if not, you got the support of the Jennifer Hudson Show audience. We got you back, right? Yes. Okay. If you can answer this question correctly, you will get a chance to win $250. You ready, Cynthia? Yeah, Cynthia ready. looks ready. She's like, yeah, great, Jenny. All right. Okay, Cynthia, which of these musicians is not from Chicago? Chance the Rapper, Mavis Staples, Jennifer Hudson, <laughs> or Lizzo? Uh, Lizzo. Yes! Okay, Cynthia. See, I knew you would get that. And you had a little help. See, we got your back. You just won $250. Bing, bing, bing. Bing. Girl. Cynthia, we're going to the bar. You are going to the bar. You're going to the bar. We both get a meal off of that $250. But, you know, you're my hometown girl. And you do so many amazing things, and we love, you know, all of that good stuff you do. So we want to do another bonus with you to give you another chance to win another $250. Can you handle that? I know you're ready. ready. I will try. She's in. That's all I want you to do. Okay, here we go. What movie and Broadway musical stars a character named Roxy Hart and includes a song called The Cell Block Tango? Come on, somebody. I'm going to go with... Chicago. You better know it! Yes! It is our city, and you just won another $250, Cynthia. Yes! Chicago looks beautiful, by the way. Y'all see my city? And the beautiful Cynthia, and the beautiful Jake. You are amazing. Keep up the awesome work, Cynthia. We love you, and I love all my people, all my friends. In Chicago and all of my friends at Fox 32 Chicago. Congratulations, Cynthia. We'll be right back. Well, our next guest knows just how to work the runway, y'all. And guess what? She's only four years old. From North Carolina, come on out, Miss Ava Chanel.
Wait, hold on. Let me. I can't sit here and talk to you and not have my legs crossed with you. You better teach me. Thank you so much, Miss Ava, for being here. You're welcome. Now, can you tell me, how long you been modeling? Um, I started practice when I was two, and I started modeling when I was three. You did? That is amazing. Also, you do pageants and you won? Yes, ma'am. Well, all right. Yes, ma'am to that. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Oh, look at you right here. That's you in the photo? Mm -hmm. it, yeah, you said, oh, yeah, I do that all the time, huh? Your hair is fabulous, honey. Thank you. Now, can you teach me some steps to becoming a mom? Yeah. What do I have to do? Well, number one is to use your listening ears. Number two is to keep your head up. Number three is to be confident. Number four is to be sassy mm. and creative. Okay, and what kind of face do I make? Do I blow kisses and stuff? Yeah, it's snap. Show, and snap? Mm -hmm. Show me how that goes. Oh. <laughs> and what is the secret to being, well, you're a great model. I can't say good to you. Being a great model. Well, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. You gotta be 100 billion gazillion sassy. Ooh. A million, billion sassy. Is that what you say before you hit the runway? Like, I gotta be one billion, million sassy? Yeah. You are really, I'm really taking you in right now. Like, she is so poised. <laughs> confident. Do you have siblings at all? Well, um, I only got a brother. You have a brother? Mm-hmm. Is he, uh, was it million, billion, sassy? Like, what kind of personality does he have? Well, he is, his name is Adrian, and he's not really a modeler. Oh, okay. That's your thing, huh? Okay, who's in this photo right here? Uh, well, that's me and my daddy. That's you and your daddy? Oh. Has he seen you model at all? Well, not really haven't seen me model a lot of times. Mm. Okay. Would you like for him to see you model? Well, he is go see me model on TV. Yup. <laughs> you know you're on TV right now, right? Yeah. Okay, where is your dad? Well, my dad is in Germany. He's in Germany? Oh, wow. You know what? He may see you on, because you know you're on TV, right? Yeah. You think if we model for him and we set it up for you, he'll see you model all the way out in Germany? Yeah. Would you like to do that? Um, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Okay, and did you send him a video? We um, got a video that you made for your dad a while ago. Can we see it? Yeah. Do you mind if we take a peek at it? Yeah? Please. I can't wait to see it. I miss you, Daddy, and I love you so much. Oh. <laughs> okay, I love that video. Now, you're a fashionista, though. I do want to hit the runway and learn some more stuff for you, but I got you a little gift, a little outfit. Can I share it with you? Yeah. Just for you. <laughs> do you like it? Yes. yes. You want to see it? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, you see, girl, you see those shoes? Shy, I want some of these. You are the it girl, honey. Oh my goodness. You like it, Ava? Yeah. You can work that, can't you? You gonna tear that runway up, ain't you? You gonna make everybody proud. Oh, she is fierce. Ava and I will hit the runway next. Ava, can you tell them we'll be right back? We we'll be right back. We're back, and for you old Ava Chanel just taught me how to be a supermodel just like her. So, y'all ready to see her strut her stuff and all her sass? Miss Ava, you gonna take it away for us and show us what you do, baby? Yeah. All right, take it away. Let me help you out. You're gonna walk back here and then you're gonna start out, okay? She already ready, ready. 
give us a one-on-one -on -one course, baby. Yes. Y'all give it up for Miss Ava. Ava Chanel. Off the runway. Good. You feel good? You know what? You make us feel good watching you do it. That's a sign of a supermodel. Thank you. You know that? Oh my God. I got somebody else that wanna say congratulations to. Come on out on the runway. Who is that? Daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Y'all give it up for Ava's dad, Sergeant Allen Fuller. He took off a leave to fly here to see about his baby from Germany. See, your daddy came to see you. <laughs> Thank you, daddy. Oh, my goodness. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. How long have you been in the Army? <laughs> I'm sorry. No, take your, have your moment. Take your time. I've been in the military for eight and a half years now. Eight so. and a half years. <laughs> Ava, you happy to see your dad? Yeah. You are? And he got to see your fabulous walk. My princess. Yes. Oh my God, you happy to see Ava? I know you. I can see it in your yeah. face. I'm very proud, actually. This is such a beautiful moment. When's the last time you saw Ava in person? Last year. Last year. Last year, June. Yeah. Um, she is so precious. Can you tell me where you think she get her confidence from? <laughs> I don't want to brag, but. I think she gets for my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel, Sid? No, no, no. Oh, oh mama got some. <laughs> Listen. Daddy. Oh, you want to say something, Ava? Well, it's a blessing to meet you, everybody. Oh. How did it feel seeing Ava walk down the runway? Ooh, one of the proudest moments of my life. I actually see my daughter get to do it in person. It's truly, truly a great moment for me. Wow. Well, yeah. it's an honor to witness this beautiful moment of you two getting to see each other. Y'all both got a superstar <laughs> on y'all hands. We're so proud of you, Ava. You gonna keep on modeling in for us? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ooh, you stay fabulous, young lady. Thank you to Sergeant Allen Fuller for your service. And thank you to the U.S. Army for making all of this possible. Wishing my viewers a very happy Veterans Day. We'll be right back. This is what it's all about. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.